Good morning, and welcome to Recruit Training Command at Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarterdeck of the Navy. I am Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. I want to personally welcome you to our Navy family. What an exciting day. Family, friends, and shipmates, it is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest United States Navy sailors. It seems just like yesterday, I was graduating boot camp and it meant the world to me to have my family and friends sitting in the audience just like you. I wanna take a moment to thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these sailors before you. Your support, your encouragement, and your love help them reach this time-honored tradition as we look upon these young women and men, we see a transformation that took place over the past several weeks. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing themselves to their limits and beyond. They learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, and of dedication. They have become a proud part of our tradition of service to our nation. Each of these new sailors will play a critical role in fulfilling our Navy's mission. They will be stationed around the world, serving on ships, on submarines and aircraft, protecting our nation and our allies. Your sailor will make a positive impact on the world. They will be ambassadors of our country, representing the best of what America has to offer. They will be leaders, they will be mentors, and they will be role models for others to follow. And as we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get us here. Let us honor the commitment and the dedication of these new sailors. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. Thank you, thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these recruits. And I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy the ceremony and celebrate your sailor. Thank you.
As the parade gradually approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware! Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, State, flag, order, arms. And now we invite you to join the staff of the Superintendent of Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter the way of the Roman Hall and are announced in the following order.
Division. Counter. Mark. Division commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Lieutenant John A. recruit training command's master of ceremonies. I would like to welcome you to today's past review. Today, you will see 12 divisions comprised of 1,068 sailors participating in the graduation ceremony soon join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit position at center day. There is the recruit commander and staff. The recruit commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's recruit commander is Seaman Recruit Jamal Moultrie from Charleston, South Carolina. Let's give him a hand, folks. Unit on the 7th of train, the state flag unit on the 8th of train, and the staff unit on the 9th of train. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night arrival, recruits are placed in divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief head officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. 
Now, now ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and our crew chief announcers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive, competitive flags that they have earned throughout the training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division two, three, five. Commanded by Senior Chief Petty Officer Michelle Rose. Petty Officer First Class Jeffrey Gonzalez. Petty Officer First Class Michael Alves. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Airman Francis Isaiah De Leon, Corpus Christi, Texas. Division Two. Three, six. Commanded by Master Chief Petty Officer Daniel Schaefer. Chief Petty Officer Leland Kuhn. Petty Officer First Class Daniel Weber. And the recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Brayhawn Wiggins from Newport News, Virginia. Division two, three, seven. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Jeffrey Norwell. Chief Petty Officer Austin Lloyd. Petty Officer First Class Tamika Bronze. And their recruit chief, but also seeming recruit Bria Williams from Houston, Texas. Division two, three, eight. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Jeffrey Norwell. Petty Officer First Class Kendall Mitchell. Petty Officer First Class Cody Howell. And the recruit chief petty officer, seaman recruit Reckon Sams from Appleton, Wisconsin. Division two, three, nine. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Dana Thomas. Petty Officer First Class Zachary Cornwell. Petty Officer Second Class Tatiana Simon. And the recruit chief petty officer, Seaman Brody Martin from Pelham, Alabama. Division two, four, zero. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Dana Thomas. Petty Officer First Class, Rook Deer. Petty Officer First Class, Northwestern McLaren. And the recruit chief petty officer, Fireman Stani Agalapichello from Spring Valley, California. Division two, four, one. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Freddie Vasquez. Petty Officer First Class, Eric Velez. Petty Officer Second Class, Taiki Nunn. And your crew chief Petty Officer, Aaron Brennan Jabal from Grove City, Ohio. Division Two, Four, Two. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer David Bang. Petty Officer First Class Alexandra Borders. Petty Officer Second Class Matthew Schneider. And the recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Apprentice Kenneth Maravastasen from San Jose, California. 
Division two. Four. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Daniel Cordero. Petty Officer First Class Michael Shearer. Petty Officer Second Class Charmaine Ferreira. What's the order? And the recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Apprentice of Alexandra High School from Lebanon, Missouri. Division Two. Chief Petty Officer Daniel Cordero. Chief Petty Officer David Alvarado. Petty Officer First Class Chair De Leon. And the recruit Chief Petty Officer Simon Reza Kamasusa from Kingo Gordon Division Two, Four, Five. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Rennell Robbins. Petty Officer First Class Stephen Baylor. Petty Officer First Class Anthony Douglas. And their recruit Chief Petty Officer Stephen Alejandro Sazabana from Detroit, Michigan. Division two, four, six. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Rennell Roberts. Petty Officer First Class Jane Maylee. Petty Officer First Class Jordan Gregg. And their crew Chief Petty Officer Stephen Hayden Gregg from Greenville, South Carolina. On behalf of the commanding officer and staff of recruit training command, we congratulate these division commanders and recruit chief petty officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremony of Silas, Boston, and Harvard take their places for arrival. This time and tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reunion officer. One such tradition is the gun salute. A gun salute is used to mark an event or to bring an arms. Today is the guest of honor to receive arrival honors to include an 11 gun salute. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on the colors, the national anthem, and the invitation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your boss show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard.
Chat to why all along this morning's communication. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the privilege of being gathered this morning to celebrate the completion of this 10 weeks of rigorous training here at RTC Greenpeace. We invite your presence to be with us today. As we look over this group of graduates, we remember the freedoms we enjoy come at a great cost. We thank you for each sailor's willingness to serve in a moment that their nation needs the most. Bless each one in a special way as they depart from crew training command. May your spirit be with them and influence them to make right decisions as they enter the fleet. Send trustworthy friends, great mentors, excellent leadership to guide them and support them as they give them their new careers. Thank you for the recruited division commanders, as well as the staff who work diligently to prepare them for this moment. Finally, Lord, bless their family and friends who are gathered here today, as well as at home. Thank you again for your goodness and a moment to celebrate your achievements in your most excellent name, my friend.
attending this pre graduation here today and those watching live from around the world. Joining us today is our new master, Matt, Chief, and the officer of the Navy, James and Hunt. I would also like to acknowledge the staff from our fleet sponsor, Big Pond, sponsoring the Division 237. Our fleet sponsor for Grand Lodge is produced to connect the sales of the Navy commands around the world, and occasionally that specialty delivery. I would also like to welcome all our veterans here today. Thank you for your dedicated service to our country. For all our veterans, please rise and we can give you a round of applause.
Master Chief Petty Officer Danny Mulvey will now present this week's individual awards. And you'll be joined with the Throwback by our Commanding Officer, Captain Froger, and Commander, Naval Service Training Command, Rear Admiral Adam.
Thank you, Master Chief Announcer of the Navy. Morning, Admiral. Thank you, Admiral. Morning, Captain. Airman Hicks reporting. Airman Tristan Hicks, Division 241. Here's Paul Rob, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's U.S. sailors. He is part of the Black Letter Foundation. Airman Hicks, the staff for crew training command salutes you as the finest of his crew graduates. Well done, sailor. Thank you, Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy. Good morning, Admiral. Thank you, Admiral. It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by the sailors of around three cheers. The Admiral and the Lady Paul graduating divisions in three cheers to support the board of directors. Today, yes, today marks the successful end 
of only your first chapter in the naval career. And yes, I want you to go and enjoy the celebration tonight, because tomorrow you will begin on the next chapter. And while you might take these steps on your own, your career will be forged by countless people who will help support and shape you into the strong and seasoned sailor you will become. Because naval careers are not ones as individuals. It all began in it all began here at Recruit Division Command, where there was recruit division commanders instilled into you the fundamentals. And then you transition into your technical training, where your instructors will help develop the skills necessary to make you the awesomely competent warfighter that we're running into to be out on the deck plate and the fleet. And out of the fleet, you're going to run into your deck plate leaders that are going to be pivotal in the personal and professional development of yourself. And most importantly, though, I don't want you to ever forget your family. Always remember those around you who want to see you succeed, who only want the best for you, and love you unconditionally. Remember to love them right back, and keep them strong both in thoughts and in your hearts. And all the while, don't forget it, it's your shipmates that will be alongside you all the time. Just as your fellow recruits are important to your success in your boot camp, it is your, your shipmates out of the fleet that will be your truest path to success. And as my newest shipmates in my name, I'm asking all of you. Then be a citizen where you're at and belong. Make your ship a better place for having had you there. Make your command a better place for having had you as a citizen there. If you're all the time working to make yourself better, make the people better around you for having known you, and the command is direct better for having had you there, that you can't help but be a success wherever you go in life. You can't help but be positive, you can't help but be successful, and that's the kind of energy and positivity that and it, it, it's, it's the, the kind, kind of thing that just kind of grows on itself. So please continue to do that. I'm dependent on you for that, and your name is dependent on you for that. I need you to create that positive culture. I need you to create that positive culture that creates the connection with people that you're going to need. The shit that you're going to need to help navigate the difficult challenges that you have ahead. And there are valuable relationships that are going to be with you when you need to celebrate in your wins and your achievements and in your future. And you have so much work ahead of all of you as you begin writing in your next chapter. And at some times, you will be incredibly challenging. But everything in life worthwhile is challenging. But this journey is one that will be the most rewarding and fulfilling experiences of your life. And take every opportunity to go to challenge yourself, no matter how difficult and hard it may seem. When you're faced with that option later in your life, to choose the hard work or to choose to do the easy work, challenge yourself and always choose to do the hard work. It will only make you stronger and more confident than say before. And shipmates, you now have that foundation to succeed. You have proven that you now have, and you know what it looks like. You have accomplished here, and what you have done has made myself very, very proud. It has made your family extremely proud of all of you. It has made your me extremely proud of all of you. And I look forward to seeing you and your meeting and future successes out of the world. Who y'all may be part of now.
today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown Parking Garage. Sailors going on Liberty Route will be able to our exit gate 8 toward the train, train, train station parking lot. Naturalization sailors, please report to the chapel at the conclusion of today's ceremony with your families for the naturalization ceremony. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of 80 days. And without further delay,